you know, when you look at the discipline of sports and the, the essence of sports, it teaches you many things about the values that are important to life. The discipline, the focus, the commitment to excellence that sport. So there are many things that sport teaches you about life. I've said in one of my speeches at the Ateneo that it is a metaphor for life. Well, of course, winning championships in basketball and watching the Gila's team compete internationally. It's just a different feeling when you see the Philippine flag emblazoned on their shirts or out there in the foreign coliseum. For example, when the Filipino spectators unfurled the Philippine flag in the stands. No? So that was a really thrilling moment for all of us, the Filipinos in the stadium. The winning moments seeing our international athletes compete and win, like the Indias and boxers particularly, because it's important that you have that mental balance because of course it's a Googling activity, isn't it? We do deploy psychologists in our teams, even when we think it's needed. It's important that you maintain your mental health if you want to win. I think that winning moment, Idolin in Tokyo, you could see that she was definitely focused. She was definitely committed to winning. You could see it in her eyes. That's mental health at its best. You just have to believe that uh, things are going to get better and be uh, an idealist because that's the only way to combat this situation. You have to quote John F. Kennedy, you have to be perpetually an idealist but with no illusion. You cannot just be idealism because then it's uh, unfounded optimism. You have to deal with the realities on the ground. And that's what I've been practicing all along, that we have to be realistic about the issues, you know, confront them and infuse a lot of hope and optimism that we can resolve them. So when you get down to the values that we spoke about earlier, discipline, focus, being gracious in victory, being magnanimous in defeat. At the end of it, when you dig down through those values, they're deeply spiritual, aren't they? you got to have faith in the Lord, you know, that eventually, with your effort and His help, you can get to where you want to get.